All right, back to more local news and our weather forecast for the rest of Thursday. Boy, Brittany, we've been on a really nice stretch here starting at the beginning of the week, and it's all going to come to an end quickly, it sounds like, overnight. Yeah, we're in for a reality check okay. already today. If you haven't been outside just yet, I mean, it's lunchtime. Most people have been. But if you haven't, it's definitely cooler out there. We're in the 50s. That's just more seasonable for this time of year, so nothing crazy. But compared to those temperatures in the 60s, pushing towards 70s for a couple of spots the past couple days, it just feels like a big difference. Here's a live look out over uh, East Providence. You can see beautiful clear skies. At least we still have that sunshine sticking around for the rest of today. A couple more clouds are going to start to pop up, and tomorrow, Tomorrow is when we're tracking the bulk of the heavy rain moving through our area. Right now we're looking at 56 degrees for Providence. Nice dry air settled over the region with those dew points in the 20s. Temperatures across the rest of the area just cooler. It was in the 60s for yesterday. 55 for Westerly. 57 for Smithfield. Newport sitting at 54 degrees. New Bedford 56. So it's a nice cooler day out there right around where those normals are for this time of year. So all in all, it's a pretty pleasant Veterans Day. We're tracking that rain for tomorrow. And as we look forward to the weekend, there's going to be a big change in our overall pattern. We're going to really start to cool down after about Saturday, and we're tracking another chance for some rain Saturday evening. But overall, Saturday during the day and Sunday should be pretty nice out there. Looking at that live radar, it's quiet. We're not really seeing any rain or anything just yet, but that is expected to change. We take a wider look out. This is the system that we're tracking that's going to start to impact our weather later tonight and into tomorrow. We're first going to have to deal with this warm front causing some scattered showers for this evening, but the bulk of the heavy rain, that's going to be along this cold front, which will be moving in, in tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. But for today, overall, pretty nice out there. Those rain chances remain pretty low. Some sunshine out there. A couple more clouds are going to start to pop up later on this afternoon, but still plenty of sunshine. Those temperatures are going to pick up just a bit more all the way into the mid to upper 50s. So let's break it down hour by hour. Later on tonight, you're going to already start to see some more significant cloud coverage moving in by about 7 o'clock. You're starting to see a chance for a quick little shower here or there, but we really don't see that chance for heavy rain, stronger wind gusts, and even a couple of thunderstorms until tomorrow late morning into the afternoon by about 2 o'clock. So we really start to see some of those heavy downpours, some of the strongest wind gusts. And then as we look forward to tomorrow evening, already starting to improve. There's going to be a bit of a gap in the activity for your Friday night and even into your Saturday. So the first half of your weekend actually going to be pretty nice out there before we see another chance for some rain Saturday evening. Taking a little bit of a closer look back home, like I said, rest of today, still some sunshine out there. Not until about 6, 7 o'clock do you start to see some more clouds rolling in. We will be dropping down into the 40s just briefly right before midnight. And then as this moisture moves in, those temperatures are actually going to pick back up into the 50s by tomorrow morning. Some scattered showers already happening for your morning commute. And then that heavy rain moves in during the afternoon and into the evening. Rainfall totals anywhere from about a half an inch to one and a half inches for a couple of spots. You're going to see some isolated heavy downpours as that cold front moves through. Wind gusts, they're going to be the strongest right in the afternoon, right around 3 o'clock. You can see pretty strong wind gusts popping up, so some damages to some tree limbs really can't be ruled out, so do keep that in mind. As far as your seven-day forecast is concerned, it's going to be pretty nice out there, back into the 60s as we look forward to tomorrow and Saturday, cooling back down into the 50s for Sunday and Monday. Kind of another chance for some showers on Monday, but not too bad. You can head over to WPRI.com. We've got that full seven-day forecast for you guys. You can check it out anytime you guys would like. All right. Thank you, Brittany, for that update. We're tracking some